Hey guys, welcome to Pine Tree Line. It's been a minute. My name is Doug, and I would like to uh, take this opportunity to uh, introduce you to a new series that I'm starting called um, Outside Thoughts from Inside the Shed. Something that um, I've kind of put together to, uh, you know, talk about different things that are going on in the outdoors world and uh, stuff like that. So basically, a little talking head stuff. Uh, that you might find interesting or compelling, depending on what uh, topics we're talking about, in between doing other adventures. Uh, lately, the adventures have been a little bit limited, and that's because I haven't been feeling well. I had a couple of weeks with uh, a bad cold, and then I was actually able to get out and uh, do something productive, and shortly thereafter, uh, got a viral infection that uh, knocked me on my butt for, uh, for an additional couple of weeks. So right now I'm filming. It's uh, December 23rd up here in Northern Ontario, Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. And it uh, looks like it's gonna be a green Christmas for the most part. Uh, we got a little little dust in there last night, but that's about it. We hardly have any snow, which is kind of um, odd for this time of year, but has happened before in my lifetime. So it's not, uh, not, um, it's not something that hasn't happened. For the last little while, I've been kind of fighting off some viruses and, and trying to get myself healthy again. I guess it was just not a good time for me unfortunately and uh, because of it I haven't been able to get out there and do all the cool things that I've been wanting to do but one thing I did get to do that uh, for those of you that follow the channel is I was able to find the uh, lumber camp that I've been looking for for about four years that housed POWs POWs uh, from the Second World War German POWs actually worked at this lumber camp and I've been trying to tell this story for about four years now and I've got a ton of information, and the last thing I really needed to do was to get on site, get to that place so that I could um, at least tell you the story having been there and having been in that same location as, uh, as all these other people. That was a, a successful uh, thing that's happened over the last um, month and a half, albeit uh, I did get really sick afterwards, and I'm currently um, starting to put that story together and uh, put a little mini uh, documentary out about it something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. So I'm pretty excited about it. That was a real big positive. I'm super excited about the fact that I was able to get to this place. Another thing that's happened that's been uh, pretty exciting over the last uh, couple months is I've hit 5,000 subscribers, which is a pretty amazing feat on itself uh, for a small channel to get to this uh, kind of next plateau. And I guess even more interesting or more satisfying to me is the fact that uh, coupled with the 5,000 subscribers, I've gone over a million views on the channel so just to think that um, all the content I've put out uh, getting over a million views on that that's pretty awesome so really excited about it and to kind of celebrate that I'm going to be having a uh, 5,000 subscriber giveaway fairly shortly and I put that together I'm currently putting together some prizing for that and um, I'd like to share that with all of you my subscribers get some cool prizes out to uh, some of you to uh, kind of just uh, celebrate with me on, on this accomplishment. I always felt that if I got to 5,000 subscribers and a million views, I could, uh, you know, I could kind of retire from YouTube if I wanted to and feel like I, I actually accomplished something. But once you get to it, you kind of get fired up again about doing more and trying to do more interesting things as time moves on. So, yeah, I'll stick around for a little while longer. Hopefully you guys will keep watching. One of the other things I wanted to say was uh, to wish you all of you uh, happy holidays and Merry Christmas from myself uh, and the channel and Storm here as uh, she make a little visit hi hi you gonna say Merry Christmas to everybody you gonna say Merry Christmas to everybody yeah 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 you've been in lots of videos eh oh yeah you have okay good good girl so <laughs> Storm's out here with me She's always game to uh, do something or going on some kind of adventure. And she actually came with me when I found that logging camp. So that was pretty cool. Other than that, I haven't been really doing a whole lot in terms of getting out and, and getting out camping or anything like that. Uh, I actually sold my hot tent and stove uh, to Mark from uh, Open Air Outdoors, my buddy Mark. He actually did all the work on the stove to modify it. So I gave him a really good deal on that. I want to kind of change things up on how I winter camp. But ultimately, I do have a plan. Uh, moving forward in the uh, next 12 months, let's say, of how I want to do, uh, how I want to winter camp anyways, that make it more comfortable and more 
more feasible for for me but i am still planning to get out and do some winter camping in the next uh short while hopefully at the same time uh, i just really want to edit that uh pow um lumber camp video that i've been trying to get together for the last four years so pretty stoked about actually being able to kind of get that and put that all together for you guys to watch and enjoy especially my subscribers and viewers locally in northern ontario will be really interested to uh to know that there actually was that kind of thing happening and uh you know history is history and if we kind of lose touch with our history um we're not gonna be able to share the stuff that's happened and the, the stuff that's gone on in the past you know for the future generations to uh to know and understand so i think that's it i think that's it for this video i just want to do something short just to let you know uh kind of new little series that i'm putting out this is kind of episode one and i wanted to wish everybody like i said a merry christmas and happy holidays and all that stuff enjoy time with your loved ones and your family if you get a chance to get outside of course do that too all right guys thanks for watching take care